It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 235. In this episode, Quidditty, the new video-based review and lifestyle site. Quidditty is a new video-based review and lifestyle site, as the man said. <laughs> the site combines video, product details, and inspirational content, in quotes, to create immersive experiences, according to the press release. The agency behind the site, Figli... Figli... The agency behind... <laughs> this is going to be a tough one. The agency behind this... <laughs> <laughs> behind us, I'm leaving this in. The yep. behind us, like Figlio and Partners boast that Quidditty is a first-of-its-kind video-based review and lifestyle site that celebrates the culture of shopping. The site currently has six initial product categories. Meal kits, renter's insurance, wireless headphones, mattresses, blenders, wearable trackers, with more to come as the site grows. The platform, according to the press release, features comprehensive buyer's guides, deeply researched product pages, and high-quality and completely original aspirational articles and video series to inspire and inform an audience of urban millennials. Quidditty is poised to challenge Consumer Reports and the New York Times Wirecutter. Their approach is to target the shopping needs of urban millennials by bringing emotion to product reviews. The name Quidditty comes from a philosophical concept regarding the essential nature of whatness of an object. The site stems from the belief that the perfect product is rooted in individuals' preferences and the multimedia platform goes deep with other shoppers, experts, brands, and retailers to help consumers find the ideal product for them. The team behind Quidditty has ambitious plans for the platform with aggressive category expansion planned in 2018 as well as the development of more high-quality video content to serve the needs of today's shoppers. The company is collaborating with brands and retailers on custom content as well as creating bespoke affiliate revenue relationships. Small batch. Small batch, uh, farm to table wristbands, <laughs> farm right, to so table found, fitness trackers. I, I know before the show we were talking about this, but uh, I found the videos, by the way, um, because we couldn't find them. Uh, if you click on, um, we're looking at the side, sorry guys, but if you look at the blender shop, if you like the Rico or Rico or my take, it takes you to a video of whatever they're reviewing. Anyway, uh, interesting to this whole interface is really strange. Um, Middle of the site on the home page is great. Um, I, I don't know. What's your thoughts? Ah, so here's the video. Okay, so <laughs> I, I listen, it, it, it's tough coming up with some topics, and I know we're kind of like kind of busting chops a little bit here. Um, we try to mix it up. You can't report about Amazon and Walmart every day, so I try to find these little niche players um, that are involved in e commerce and f- figuring out creative ways to sell crap online. Um, the breathless press releases that I write, wrote about this made it sound like it was more video than anything else. Uh, that being said, it's got kind of a strange interface, but once you get deep into the categories, um, Bart looked at the blender shop. I was looking at the wearable shop with an animation of a guy that looks like me running and it breaks it down pretty well. I mean, it, once you get deep into the site uh, and you start looking at products, you can compare real easy. Um, and what it does, it takes each product and breaks it down. Product details, expert rating, customer rating, brand score, um, and then price comparison. And then you can, and then below you can compare those to other wearables. So in that aspect, it's it's really well done. Um, it's got kind of a, you know that millennial hipster vibe to it. Um, <laughs> the writing is like these breathless breathless write ups of restaurants and things, and it's. Um, I think what it suffers from, it's just trying to be a little, little too, um, a, a little too. I, I don't know what the word is, it, but it's not. It's wordy. I mean, it's, it, wordy, like a, it's, it's very wordy. A little heavy. Um, but what, but like, as I said, if you can get past the homepage, the homepage I just completely do from a usability standpoint, a UX. I I don't I do not know what's going on here. Is it a magazine? It's there's 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 things all over the place. Um, but once you get past that. Recommendations are great, um, and yes, there are plenty of videos in here. If you look in the Rico section, um, there's actually uh, user user videos of people reviewing um, the actual products. Yeah, so but I saw they that. Don't bubble, kind of cool. They don't bubble to the top, which was what I expected based on everything that I read. Yeah, I mean, so here's the thing with um, the thing about them putting the video stuff. It's 2018. They're gonna have to do video, so that's just given. 
Uh, well, and I, I so walked nice. into this, not, not, I had never experienced this before and looking for videos, all I seemed to find were the videos post, you know, there would be an article about, um, renter's insurance. And then there was the, the, the video from YouTube of the brand that mm -hmm. they're, that they created themselves. So that yep. I thought that was kind of odd. Um, but there is indeed, uh, the user video. So it looks like this thing just recently launched. Like I said, there's only a handful of categories. Um, uh, and I'm assuming that they're making money from affiliate, uh, and some sponsorship stuff. Um, I think this has a lot of potential. I think they just need to work on their, their UI and the UX just a, little a little bit, bit. Just, a little just a little bit, bit. um, but pretty cool. I, the name is goofy. But, uh, you know, I guess all the good names are taken, right? <laughs> you know, they try to, listen, any good brand is gonna, gonna you know, if you're, if you're out of the gate and you're creating something from scratch, you wanna create some sort of story. Um, I think the, the, the whole, the, the name Quidditty, it's, it's, a whole, it's a little pretentious, the whole story behind it. Um, but I, I see who they're trying to appeal to mm -hmm. uh, and they've done a good job in, in just the, the product photography and the, you know, some of the design that they've done here, uh, they've done a good job. But if, when I look at it, it's, it's kind of like, how much time are you going to spend on here? Now, now there's some stats out there that say, uh, I wrote it down here. Consumers spend an average of 13 days, 13 days researching products while 58% of consumers use smartphones in store to research products and look up information. That's very true. Yeah. But I also, I don't want to have to slog through all this just to get to my blender review, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like, um, but, but, but again, like the product photography is, is great. Uh, they've done a great job there. Uh, some of the top typography is kind of weird. It's just kind of odd. Um, but you know, Hey, look, they're right out of the gate. Um, you know, they're, they're doing what they promised, what's promised and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Yep. So as I said, that uh, to rate each, because they're, they're trying to go against Consumer Reports, which is probably comes off as a bit stodgy and old, and New York Times Wirecutter, which is kind of like the Bible for anybody who's like out comparing things. Um, they came up with their own rating algorithm, so it's it's based on uh, four perspectives that people rely on to make better decisions. Experts, other shoppers, retailers, and brands. So they take those four, break it down, uh, give you some sort of score, and you can make a decision from there. So. Uh, I think in that aspect, um, you know, that wins again, kind of a weird name, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes. Yep. I think that's it for Quidditty. Uh, you can find the website. It's quidditty.com. Q U I D D I T Y.com. Um, we'll post the link on show notes. Show notes are available at e-commerce minute.co. Got anything else, Bart? Yep. That's it. That's it. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>